Have you ever bought a USB microphone and thought, well, the sound isn't as great as I expected? Well, I've had a couple of comments on my recent video to suggest this is the case with the Elgato Wave Neo microphone. This user said that the build quality wasn't great, but he couldn't get a decent sound out of it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you two quick steps that you can set up with free software to get this microphone sounding a whole lot better. The first thing you need to do to get this to sound better is to simply download the Elgato Wavelink software, which is a free download from Elgato's website, link in the description below. Once you've installed that and got it up and running, it's going to look something like this. You will need to add the Elgato Wave microphone as a input source, which you'll see here. And once we've got this up and running and as an input source, there's two things we just need to do. The first one is to click on this little icon down here at the bottom, which looks like a little sound wave. Click on that, and we're going to enable voice focus. And voice focus is going to use AI to listen to your voice and remove any extraneous background noise that you may have in your environment. It's going to make your voice sound clearer and remove a lot of the background noise, which will help with making this microphone sound a lot better. Enable this here. I have a link in the description of a tutorial I've done about this before. But basically set it around 50%. You don't want to go full strength or too weak. Keep it around the middle point. You don't want artifacting creeping into your voice and making it sound terrible. So I keep mine around 50%. But please experiment with your settings to see what sounds better for your voice. The final thing we're going to do is add something called a compressor in the effects. And all a compressor is going to do is reduce any really, really loud noises in your voice and raise up some quiet passages to make the voice sound a little bit more uniform. Let's add this as an effect. You can download the free compressor from Elgato. I have a few installed here because I do music, but let's just click on the Elgato one and click on Elgato compressor. It's then going to run you through a quick setup all we need to do is read a quick passage that it's going to present you, and this will set the compressor to the best settings that it thinks for your voice. Again, you can tweak and change these settings, but let's just run through this setup real quick. Click on Proceed. Vocal compression is the secret to sounding pro. Let's do this. Once you've got that read, you can redo it again. I'll do it again. Vocal compression is the secret to sounding pro. Let's do this. Didn't really do a good take there but it doesn't really matter let's hit proceed finalize and now the compressor has kicked in and is going to raise the quiet parts of my voice and reduce some of the loud ones but it's going to make the voice sound a little bit more uniform you can tweak and change the settings on this compressor by clicking this here and if you think the microphone is still sounding a little bit quiet you can uncheck this auto makeup which is making the decision on how loud the microphone needs to be and tweak this gain slider here by just raising it a little bit to increase the volume overall. You don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to get into the red in this meter and start to clip and distort your voice. I think that's about right there. So that's the easy way of getting this microphone to sound a little bit better. I'd be interested to know your settings and how you've got this set up and hopefully it'll make your microphone sound a whole lot better. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.